Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. Today we're going to be looking at the ICAM AeroFrame. Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. Today we're going to be looking at the ICAM AeroFrame. Uh, viewers asked me to check it out, so I've come to their website. Uh, go to frames, road bike frame. I think it's called the A A9. Could be wrong. Here it is, disc pro frame A9. So let's have a look at this little beauty. Wow, that's cheap. It's first, my first impression. It's cheap. What uh, sizes have we got? 46 to 58. Colors, lots. All right, let's click on it and have a look. So. Uh, just to go back, the first thing I'm noticing is these these uh, fork ends look pretty cool. Uh, I also like that, that's very angular, isn't it? It kind of reminds me of a giant. I could be wrong, but that's my first impression. Okay, um, we've got here the geometry. I haven't got my uh, R9 geometry to hand. So I'll have a look at that in a little bit. Uh, some more paint there. Mm, no. Try aero. Okay. Try aero rocket. Nice. So we got a glossy one there. That is really nice. I like that. I like that a lot. I like the bars as well. They're good. Okay, that one. Ooh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That's uh, matte black there. Just some black versions of different colour stickers. Ah, here we go. Okay, you can adjust the saddle. Yeah, okay, so I can take over rails and round rails. Victoria 800 concealed seal clamp up in there. Nice. 140mm on the back, yeah, throughout saw 142 by 12 PV86, same as the R9. Through axle 100 by 12, yep, same. A flat mount 160, yep. And the electronic switch, what is this? Electronic switch. Cable routing all internal. Let's have a look. Okay, tube is tapered. I do like those uh, fork ends. Conceal seat clamp, wow, that's nice up there. Front drainer, yep. DV86, good. Ah, I see what they're on about now. Electronic switch. It's where the uh, charger, DI2 charger goes, because at the moment I've got mine in my handlebar end. Um, okay, so that's where it goes. Nice uh, clean edges there. Saddle. Oh yeah, adjust the rear the saddle there. Different angles in the seat post. Oh, and look at this, a little DI2 battery. Stick it in there and push it down the seat. Oh, that's really the seat tube. That is a really good idea. Yeah, I quite like that. Ooh, those bars are nice, aren't they? I especially like the way that it's the forks are cut out into the into the down tube there. I like that. That's good. I like it. Yeah, I like that. It looks nice actually. Another angle of that. That is the. That is nice. To be fair. That's kind of a weird glossy coat of paint. And then we're back to the start. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, they seem okay from first look. Haven't, uh, haven't done the thing recently to them. Um, let's have a look what we're doing here. Nothing down here. Okay, 28C tires, UD matte or glossy, 800 and T700, Torre carbon fiber, frame, frame weight, mm, I'm going to say roughly the same as the R9, stem, it's a 5 degree, I think the R9 is an 8 or 6. Can't remember off the top of my head, and I can get a 120 mil stem as well. 
here I can only get a 110. Handlebar only down to 400, I can get a 38 in the R9. Um, not bad. Uh, I like the shape. It's really nice. Really nice. Let's just get the earlier one. Okay, so we've got frames. Oh no. Just wait for this to load. So what have we got here? Yeah. Frame weight. Let's go back to that. Let's go back to that. So the frame is 1090. That's on a 52. This is a 54, so um, it's a little bit heavier, but again, the bike is bigger and their bike is unpainted. So the fork is 390 on the R9, it's 410 here. Seat post is not uh, weighed separately, so the frame weight may include the seat post, I'm not sure. Hmm. And of course, they don't weigh the handlebars. Yeah, Leo does. Difficult. Let's just uh, go back here, just some measurements. I think they've gone the wrong way, so it'll be quite quick. The paint jobs are nice, though, I have to admit. So in a 56, the top tube length A is 565. So it's O on this one. Mm, five four five twenty mil. Interesting. What's the stack? Five forty three point two. Five sixty eight. It's taller, not taller. And the reach three nine four. Three eight five. Hmm. There's not a lot in it that you couldn't iron out with a stem. So yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's the first time I've seen them. To be honest, they're um. They've got some funky paint jobs. And I do like the underneath. Um, adjustment there for the seat tube. Yeah, the bolt, and I do like that. And I do like the fork ends as well. There's just something about the angled fork ends I like. That's going to be about it for this video. If you've got any comments on the uh, on the ICANN Cycling Tri Aero bike, the A9, um, just leave a comment for me. So hopefully, I can look at it before I make a decision in April. And um, thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you again. Well, it's Kairos House. Take care. Bye.